So in this final example, we have a right angled triangle again, so it's got to be Pythagoras' theorem to find the length of one of the missing sides. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We then label the triangle. So remember, c is always the hypotenuse, okay, the length of the longest side opposite the right angle, and the a and the b are the other two sides. So the a this time is y, so y squared. We've got b as 19, so we've got 19 squared, and c is 22, so 22 squared. Right, 19 squared and 22 squared aren't ones I have in my head. So 19 squared is 361, and 22 squared is 484. So we need... Something plus 361 is 484, so if you subtract 361 from both sides, you get left with 123. So y is the square root of 123, which is equal to 11.09053651, so 11.1 to one decimal place. So y is 11.1 metres to one decimal place. And as expected, we should be getting a number that is less than the 22, because that's the hypotenuse already. And that's how we can use Pythagoras to work out that missing side.